Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video. In today's video, I got some groundbreaking news as to the first best open source AI chat model that is available to anyone, and that is Hugging Chat. Now, this is something that is released by Hugging Face. Julian, who is the actual CEO and co founder of Hugging Face, had brought this news today, and this is the launch of Hugging Chat. Now, what Hugging Chat is, it's basically a new chatbot that is fully open source and basically the hugging face team is demonstrating their commitment to the open ai world and that is by creating an open source chat bot now this is basically going to be an alternative to chat gpt and they're showing that they're possible to build high quality powerful chat bots without relying on closed apis and this is quite revolutionary for the open source world guys because there's going to be no needs for open or closed ap or APIs in general guys so this is quite revolutionary and it's gonna be something that I'm gonna be showcasing in today's video now currently it uses the open assistant model which is the biggest open source uh, chat LLM model and this is another video that I showcased in my previous videos and this is where I talk about the actual first as well as the best open source chat driven or community driven uh, LLM and I highly recommend that you check this video out because it gives you a more in-depth analysis as to what they're trying to accomplish as to how it actually functions with the community driven aspect to it. Now, in today's video, we're going to be focusing on the demonstration of how to actually utilize this chat GPT or this, sorry, this hugging chat GPT model on their user web interface as well as accessing some of the analysis to what the actual application is trying to accomplish, its roadmap, some of the limitations, and also taking a look at their new discussion forum as to how their community-driven aspect is integrated with their Hugging Chat application. We'll also take a demonstration as well as take a look at some of the data sets and then analyze some where the actual general content is coming from. So with that thought, guys, if you guys haven't seen any of my previous videos, it would mean the world to me, guys, if you guys can do so. There's a lot of content and a lot of different value that could be beneficial for you. So I highly recommend that you check out my older videos. And if you guys are subscribed, I definitely recommend that you do so and turn on the notification bell. I'm going to continuously give you the best news like this video and for example, which is something that was released today. And I'm going to give the best content that is driven to you right away so like this video subscribe and comment anything that you want to see in future uploads and with that thought guys let's get right into the video so i believe approximately four hours ago julian had demonstrated the release of this new hugging chat model now hugging chat is going to be powered by open assistance latest model which is utilizing llama i believe uh let me get the right it is using utilizing llama's 30 billion data set and what they're trying to do is currently trying to get the outreach of the best open source chat model available and additionally this chat bot utilizes the hugging face interface api so it's basically utilizing its own tools and processing of different data as well as task problems task problems as well as transformations of its actual use cases on its actual website with the chatbot itself and using the open source data sets from open assistant to basically function this application and this is quite groundbreaking as it's easy it's an easy deployment as well as a management of nlp models and it's going to be quite productive in different environments so this is quite revolutionary guys and obviously it's not going to be at the same level as chat gpt as it's a closed source api and this this is a company that is open source and it is community driven basically so the launch of hugging chat is going to be a significant milestone in the development of open source ai and by providing an open source alternative to chat gpt in my opinion this new like chat bot will be making a powerful nlp tools and models in the future which can be quite more accessible for developers and researchers for free and it basically demonstrates that there's going to be a huge potential for open source ai to compete with closed apis in the future so this is one of the quite revolutionary things guys and i definitely recommend that you keep a tab on this as this is something that the team of hugging face will continuously innovate and improve upon 
Now, in terms of the roadmap, as well as some a little bit more technical analysis of the actual application. Now, let me focus a little bit about the goal in particular, because as of April 2023, which is right now, they had demonstrated that it's possible to build their own open source alternative to ChatGPT, and that was through the launch of Hugging Chat. Now, right now, it is currently using open assistance latest llama based model which i'll leave in the link in the description below and it's widely regarded as one of the best open source chat models available now this is something that i demonstrated previously as the content as well as the data that is utilized from the open assistant model is quite like quite revolutionary because you're able to get the content with such good quality chat models from actual llama and you're able to build upon it with community driven aspects. And this is something that I'll demonstrate later on in the video. Now, one thing that I really, really love about this is that unlike other chatbots that rely on machine learning approaches with this actual, actual data set, open assistance data is actually human annotated. Now, this is something that I put a lot of emphasis in my previous video as a lot of the data sets that is created is through human generative content and this basically means that the chat model as well as its data sets is designed to understand the nuisance of human language and produce more natural and engaging responses which is quite more unique than these other ai sources and applications because it is not relying on the traditional machine learning approach it is relying on humans to actually formulate its data sets and they have an amazing community driven aspect as well as a leadership board as to how you can actually contribute so i highly recommend that if you're interested in doing so you do this because it's a way of innovating the ai world and actually giving some sort of like impact a benefit like a positive impact to the actual ai world so definitely check this out guys because it's going to be quite revolutionary and it's going to basically help a lot of different people now Currently, Hugging Face Chat does not actually rely on a chat interface for Vicuna, but the development team is actually actively working to improve their user experience and to make the chatbot more accessible to users. And they're going to continuously involve certain models that will showcase the potential of open source chat models. And this is going to be something that we are going to be looking at later on. Now, one of the biggest limitations to Hugging Chat is it's limitations to its data sets now it's relatively new which i talked about and it's a new chatbot and obviously every chatbot is going to have its own limitations now some may not be on this level of refinement but in this case since this actual chatbot is quite new and it's open source there's going to be a lot of levels of lacking refinement as well as optimization and this is something that i was looking at on twitter because there's an example of this person this user of the actual hugging chat interface and what they were trying to do is ask this prompt of who is the former president of france that recently passed away and the actual application was able to generate this response which is very very off because the former french president emmanuel macron died on january 5th 20, 2036 obviously we're not in 2036 and we are in 2023 at this current year so obviously there's a lot of issues with its refinement and there's a lot of people who have errors in generating some sort of content with this application so the platform is constantly improving and evolving so there still might be areas where it lacks development of the optimization and refinement so keep that in mind guys now another like lacking limitation is that the pre-existing data to generate responses is not able to handle completely new or unique scenarios because it's not trained towards that and this is something that i emphasized before because like chatbot responses may not always be perfect and accurate because it is generated off human responses as well as the data is based off of human like language so this is something to keep in mind guys and this is something that will continuously be worked upon with open assistant as well as hugging face as they continuously innovate their apps as well as their ai technologies to get the best generative content now we'll be moving forward with the actual application and showing a demo as to how it actually operates
Now, in terms of its UI, it's quite similar to how ChatGPT is. And in this case, you have certain examples like ChatGPT would. Uh, so you can even say code a snake game, for example. So I'm, I type that in and you're able to get a response quite generally fast and you're able to get a really good example as to how it would work with different types of codes as well as with different prompts. And if you want to type in or stop this, I believe you can even stop this, but you can copy this to a clipboard. And if you want a new chat, you can rename it also and you can even download it. And now if you want to do a new chat, let me let this finish and I'll show you. Sorry, it was lagging a little bit because it's still generating this content. But you can also even see right here is that generic content may be inaccurate and false. And obviously that's because of their data sets. Now you can do basic menial tasks with it. And so that's quite like useful because if you want to generate something like write an email from bullet list, you can do so. And small things like this will be quite helpful for you guys if you're doing smaller tasks or something that doesn't require a lot of complex generative content. And that's one of the use cases that you can use Hugging Chat for at this current moment. And obviously, as time goes, they're going to continuously innovate their product and we're going to be able to get the best generative content with this application. So this is quite remarkable guys because we're able to see this new promising chatbot that is open source and there's going to be a lot of potential that we'll see in the future guys so i hope you found this video quite useful and this update on their new actual chatbot now if you did guys please subscribe like this video and check out my previous videos i'll leave the link down in the description below for open assistant which is their own chatbot that they're actually released as well as a more in-depth analysis as to what they're trying to accomplish and with that thought guys i hope you really enjoyed this video have an amazing day have a great smile today and i'll catch you guys soon guys peace out